Hey, you're awake. All right. Paladin Tristan is just inside. He's waiting for you. Well, well, look who's back amongst the living. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. Is that so? Well, it'll be good to have another soldier we can count on. Basic rule of thumb on these operations. Keep your head down and let the robot do most of the heavy lifting. He can take it better than you can. Well, we've got a bit of time. What's on your mind? Not like they did at the Purifier, no. We got the sense that after you took care of their headquarters, they didn't have anyone to give orders. So they haven't been as coordinated. Some surrendered, some tried to hold out. It's all ended the same. But don't let that fool you. If we can keep the pressure on them, we win. If not, we give them a chance to reorganize. Well, we don't want that to happen, do we? Well, you saw most of the fighting outside. The robot paved the way for us. We just mopped up the opposition while you and Sarah headed inside. After that, hell if I know, once we'd locked down the perimeter and gotten word that the purifier was running, we headed in to look for you. Found you and Sarah both unconscious and got you back to the Citadel as fast as we could. We'll strip the place for any usable tech, like always. Anything after that depends on what we find in there. If there's any information about other Enclave positions, we'll send that back to the Citadel and come up with a plan. But, like I said, we're pretty sure this is the last big holdout. Okay, it's about time to move out. Some communications facility. We're thinking if it's active, we can find out who they're talking to and get the last of the locations nailed down. to find out what the hell just happened. There's no time to talk. Get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission. Now, soldier, now! I don't know, I don't know. Terminals, data, anything that can help us figure out what just happened, and where it came from. Off my finger and drop! 
I'll never forfeit all to come forth in vengeance.
just... I can't believe it. All those years of work, all of it. For what? One botched operation? I'm still waiting on the debriefing from Tristan, but... I'm not sure it even matters. With Prime gone... Perhaps not. But that doesn't change the fact that it sets us back years. Years! And it removes the one significant military advantage we had over the Enclave. Ah, yes. Well, I'll see if we can't figure out how to read it. Perhaps it can give us some insight as to just what happened out there. It would be good to salvage something from this mess. Thank you for bringing this to me. I believe Elder Lyons will want to speak with you as well. Perhaps you should find him. If you'll excuse me. Do you need something? Not only have we lost our main weapon, but now we've got to deal with some sort of... orbital strike capability? They sure pulled a fast one on us. What's been going on? Well, let's see. For years, we've been draining our resources defending the ungrateful residents of this no-man's land. Most of my best friends have either been ripped apart by super mutants or left to join the outcasts. And now an enemy we faced more than 30 years ago has resurfaced, and their tech is still better than ours. What's been going on with you? I really don't want to go into it. Go bug scribe Bowditch. He could talk a dog off a meat truck. Steel be with you. I trust you've spoken with Rothschild. I hope he can make some headway with the data you've recovered. With our primary weapon destroyed, we risk losing our momentum and jeopardizing the entire campaign. I must admit I now wonder whether moving ahead with this operation was an error in judgment. And yet, here we are. Discounting the fact that our best field commander is in a coma, and I personal feelings for my daughter, things have not gone well. If we fail now, we could lose everything. I sincerely hope you are right. If we are to succeed now, it will once again be largely thanks to you. Paladin Tristan has requested you for a special assignment. Please, report to him at once. We've little time to waste before the Enclave seizes this opportunity. Steel be with you. Nice work back there. Let's hope the scribes can do something useful with the information you retrieved. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sit around and wait for the analysis. Based on what I've seen of you so far, there's an assignment I believe you're well suited for. With the setbacks the Brotherhood has suffered, we find ourselves in a difficult position. All our available resources need to be positioned for the inevitable counterattack from the Enclave. At the same time, we believe we may have developed a tool to help our chances of victory. But with everyone needed to help defend against the Enclave, we have no one to send on a recovery mission. So, I'm going to have you travel to the Olney Power Works to secure some tech for us. Hopefully you'll be able to find a Tesla coil, an experimental device from before the war. Our scribes need it to complete a little surprise they've been preparing for the Enclave. Get there, get the coil, and get back as safely and quickly as possible. Any questions? Check with Scribe Valancourt. She's been researching some of the Enclave technology we've recovered. From what I understand, she may have come up with something. I'll be waiting for that Tesla coil, if you can find one. I'm still very, very busy. Is this important, or can it wait? Well, maybe. I mean, possibly. I think so, but I'm not certain. I don't know how much this will actually help. I mean, I'm not quite sure how effective it might be. 
since it hasn't really been field tested. But I think I've figured out a way to override the signals the Enclave is using to control their death claws. Here, take this. It's only a prototype, so please don't lose it. It's a semi-standard transmitter, only I altered the frequency modulation and jacked up the output. Based on some experiments I ran here in the lab, it should override the signals the Enclave uses to control Death Claws. Don't worry, it's constantly broadcasting, so you don't need to do anything. Just don't lose it. And so far, I have no evidence of adverse effects of EM interference in humans. Animals, maybe, but not humans. Anyway, it doesn't have a huge broadcast range, but it should be enough. It overrides the Enclave signal. So as far as the Death Claw is concerned, you're in control. And remember, it works passively. As long as you have the Scrambler on your person, it'll do its job. No, I don't think so. As long as you're within range of the Enclave's transmitter, your signal should be the one the Death Claw follows. If you get too far away, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I think there might be some bad effects. Well, for the Death Claw. Not you. All right then. There have been reports of an enclave camp southeast of Old Olney, so I'd head there if you want to try it out. I hope the scrambler ends up being useful. I'd hate to have spent all this time on it and get no results, or bad results. That would be worse. Good luck, and please be careful. What the? How the hell'd you get in here, smooth skin? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Uh, just right through here. Only there's a few death claws down here that might have other ideas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ran faster than the others, that's how. Ain't nothing honorable about it, but we're still alive, and they ain't. I can live with that. Listen, this wasn't my fault, okay? It wasn't my idea to tunnel down here. I just went along with it. But whatever. What's done is done. Me and Kid, we're getting out of here. You came in that way, that means we can get back out. See you later, Kid. I just want to get...